the 2016 Subaru Forester. Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here. So let's say you get a new Forester and you want to install some of the rear seat back protectors and it doesn't come with it. Well, let me show you guys on how to get some and how to install them. Step one, find a box. And hopefully this box you find actually has the seat back protectors in it. I actually got these from a Subaru dealership out of state. I uh, went on eBay and I saved about $15 buying them on eBay versus going to the dealership. So keep an eye out for pricing. A good price is in the $40 range, maybe 50 with free shipping. You're gonna to wanna to take out this uh, protector right here just to help you in a step down the road. And then go ahead and pop the seats back. Go ahead and unpack your seat back protectors. You'll see you have a bottom flap here. You have a smaller one and a larger one. Notice there's lips right here. They're gonna go around the actual, um, the I think it's a child safety restraint hook. So you can also use them for whatever you want really for tying gear down. Uh, there's also Velcro, which is great to stick right to the carpet. So make sure you keep this up because it is high quality Velcro. It will stick to any of the carpet. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to take off the headrests to both of your back seats here. You'll need those off. Now with the headrest off, you can start with this side here with the smaller backing. Now what you wanna do is grab a flat blade or a, a knife or a screwdriver, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and make a U shape and you'll notice that these, these right here need to slide underneath here. So you wanna go ahead, the reason why you make a U shape is because of the way the sticker, the um, Velcro, is, Velcro is. So go ahead and start getting the lips to go underneath. This doesn't take too much an effort. There you go. Keep the Velcro from sticking. Slide it all the way up, just like that. And the good news is now you go ahead and stick all the Velcro down and you know it's pretty well straight because of how it lines up with this box here. All right, put your knife away. Now you'll see there's a little uh, T-shape in the elastic bands here on the top, and each of the bands actually go around the base for the headrest. So you'll see like one on each side, and then just go ahead and grab your headrest, pop them back in. Good to go. All right guys, so this one should be very similar to what we just did, and this one actually go ahead and get a nice blade again. Or sliding her in. Sometimes you need the blade, like I said, sometimes you don't. And this one, actually, you don't. Keep that Velcro from sticking. All right, slide her all the way up, lock her in, pat her down. Now, this one actually has two headrests, all right? You got one with one big loop for the middle headrest, so you just want to wrap it around each of the individual headrest stand pegs, right, little bases, whatever. This one over here has a T, just like before, wrap it around each of the corners there. Go ahead and pop your headrest back in. Away you go. So this last part is the reason why I said to remove the rear cargo tray, the large tray, because you actually need to put these panels underneath part of it. So what you wanna do is you actually probably wanna go ahead and take this panel, fold it in half, it won't hurt it temporarily. Line up the little piece first as to the best you can. Then go ahead, lay the bigger piece down. And there you have it. Go ahead and grab your rear cargo tray, the large one again. Pop it back in. There you go. There you have it. Nice slick back, fully protected. Throw any kind of gear in there, whatever you'd like. 
and I'll show you guys how they pop up and down here. All right, so all you gotta do now, as you can see, it kind of does a full kind of flow to it. Pop them down. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and uh, have a good one.